What is up, everybody? Jeremy Kane, EXP Realty here, dropping you some Why Invest Wednesday. Today, we're going to go over the five reasons why I am so thankful for this real estate market. Uh, this real estate industry has changed my life. Uh, stay tuned and we'll dive into five reasons why I am thankful for this real estate market and the real estate industry. <music> Hey everybody, welcome to Why Invest Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Absolutely have so many things to be grateful for this time of year. We start to look back and think about our, our year gone by. Can we believe it's already been 12 months since we uh, watched that ball drop last Christmas, last Thanksgiving. Uh, things, are, things are flying by. So number one, just enjoy what you're doing. But absolutely wanted to drop my five reasons I am thankful for the real estate industry and they're kind of general, so let's dive right in. Uh, first of all, real estate is the only investment that I can think of that provides a survival need of shelter. Obviously, you have the stock market, the bonds, all sorts of other investments, small business, startup things, but this investment alone provides uh, shelter for you, your family, the people you love, which is absolutely insane that we can have an investment vehicle that gains equity as we go, whether it's paying down a mortgage or appreciation uh, in your market. Obviously, that's been really good lately. But when you really step back and think about it, as real estate is an investment vehicle and also providing a basic uh, survival needed shelter is a super cool reason and the number one reason why I'm so thankful to be in this industry and provide uh, my expertise in helping families find homes, roofs over their head, uh, and absolutely a place to invest their money that they actually get to use on a day in day out basis if it's your primary residence or, or a vacation home, which I've dove into this year as well. Uh, next, obviously, it's just there's so many options. I just went to, through kind of the flexibility of real estate. You can invest in you know, industrial real estate, there's REITs out there, there's uh, large funds that you can invest in and they take care of your investment and they invest in, you know, trophy properties or bigger properties. And then you get some sort of promised return in that. That's super cool. Not something I dove into. Obviously, primary residence is real estate. I have uh, several rental properties and there's even flexibility there. You have duplexes, you have single family, you have condos and things like that, but also long-term versus short-term. Um, first short-term rental was purchased this year, which I'm super grateful for. My family and I got to go enjoy that uh, this weekend and hang out and be with good friends. And so, so thankful for, for that opportunity. It's an investment property that I actually get to use and utilize. So uh, flexibility is number two. Uh -huh. The next reason is the ability to leverage other people's money. It's normal to get a mortgage. It's normal to get a loan um, on a home. So you you get a loan, you have your down payment, you put you know a small portion in and an investor gives you money and you pay them interest. And right now the interest rates are super low as we know, uh, but you get to leverage other people's money. But the beauty of the leverage is that your investment grows on, on your equity gain and on the appreciation. So I buy a house for, you know, $400,000, I put $100,000 into it, 25% uh, down, that's not absolutely needed, but let's just go with it. As as the industry gains and say, for instance, this year, the, the uh, you know, appreciation around Denver is 20%, that 20% is gained on that $400,000 number. And I don't have to share that money with the investor because I'm paying them interest for the loan that they're giving me. And you know, there's a portion of that obviously the math would work out, but the ability to leverage other people's money has allowed me to purchase, you know, five, five rental doors, um, a short term door, and then obviously my primary residence, I don't own any of them outright. They do cash flow, but so cool that you can leverage other people's money and that the interest rate's so low and the you know the industry is where it's at so that we can actually leverage other people's money for our own gain. So that's definitely reason number three why I'm thankful for the real estate industry. And next, obviously as a real estate agent, this doesn't apply to everybody and that's in real estate and things like that. But as a real estate agent, I get to be the person that, you know, helps people make those decisions and helps people find their perfect first home or their move up home or their forever home. Uh, took a great family out today, actually spent the whole day with them. They're in from California. 
and got to know them as people, got to know everything that they were looking for in a home, you know, found some great homes, found some really bad homes, you know, and it's, it's just so cool to be a part of that journey. And I'm so thankful that people um, allow me to, to do that. And as their advisor, and I love advising and educating people. Today, we drove around, you know, probably 150 miles, just areas and neighborhoods. And I get to share my expertise of, of, you know, the South Denver area that I've grown up in. And that's just awesome to me that I get to help people on that journey, which to the end is, you know, financial freedom, hopefully. And there's a way to gain that through real estate, whether you're just investing in your primary residence or you're investing in your, you know, investment property after investment property. Just a really cool piece of my job that I love doing. Um, And then next and the final one for today um, is I get to help others build their business. So as a real estate agent, I'm a connector. My ultimate job is to find these great people that can help within the household. There's so many things that can go into a home uh, from contractors to, you know, house cleaners to, you know, people that just interact every day in life, cake makers, things like that. That's financial planners. And I'm, I'm so blessed to have great friends in these industries. And I'm so thankful that I'm able to help them build their business. And we're able to climb this mountain together. Uh, And so that's, that's the fifth reason why I'm so thankful is, just lifelong relationships. Several of the people that I refer on a daily basis I've known since I was, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, um, my contractor, and we, we kind of lost touch. He went his way, I went my way, but now he helps me with my investment properties. My wife's able to call him in a pinch and he takes care of us. My clients are able to call these people. And all while doing this, my clients are helping others build their business. Um, you know, they're getting a great piece of you know, whatever these people's expertise is in their home, they're giving them a a value and hooking them up. And then I'm also helping those people build their business. So forever grateful for that. Obviously being Thanksgiving, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, So thankful for you guys. So thankful to be a part of everybody's lives and and things like that. And I just hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving with your families. Uh, If you don't have anything to do, come over to my house. We have a 20 pound turkey. So uh, three o'clock's dinner time. Um, Yeah, just show up. I don't care. I'm so thankful for all of you. Love all of you. Thanks for building my business to, you know, unforeseen heights that I couldn't even dream of at some point. But Um, I hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you all for everything you do for me. And if you have any questions about the real estate market, let's chat. If you want, uh, you know, to go over your situation, you're thinking about getting an investment property, whatever that is, I, I love doing those things and getting things accomplished. So love you guys all. Thank you so much. Have a great Thanksgiving and I will, uh, bow out now. Cheers.